Could a river in the sky be the new norm? As we grapple with the realities of a changing climate, this is a question we might have to ask more frequently. Welcome to my channel in this climate news report, where I aim to shed light on the recent events that are reshaping our understanding of climate change. An atmospheric river, a term that may seem foreign to most of us, has recently hit California. An atmospheric river is a long, narrow region in the atmosphere, like a river in the sky that transports water vapor from the tropics towards the poles. The term has long been used but rarely heard of until climate change thrust it into the public view by repeatedly hitting the West Coast time and time again. They are a crucial part of our global climate system, but when they hit land, they can cause record-setting conditions for snow, rainfall, and flooding. And that is exactly what has happened in California, a state that is known more for sunshine and warm weather than drenching rain. The Golden State has been grappling with an onslaught of these atmospheric rivers. And still we hear people say this is fake news or made up to benefit some other country or group of people. This is our reality. No amount of misinformation or propaganda will change the facts. Denial hurts everyone, including the deniers. These events have led to record-setting conditions, saturating the state with heavy rainfall, monumental snowfall, widespread flooding, and landslides. But what does this mean for us and the world we live in? Do you see how our weather is changing and storms are becoming more frequent and more destructive? Let me know in the comments. Climate scientists have long predicted that global warming would lead to more extreme weather events and change the normal weather conditions we are used to seeing. The recent atmospheric rivers in California are a taste of what's to come. As our planet continues to heat up, we can expect more of these extreme weather patterns more often in areas that normally don't see these events too. In essence, a warmer world is a wetter world, but these atmospheric rivers are not just a concern for Californians. They are a global concern. All over the planet, many nations are dealing with their own climate disasters. From record floods, record droughts, and fires like the one million acre fire that swept across the Texas Panhandle. As these events become more frequent and more intense, they will disrupt ecosystems, agriculture, and even our daily lives. Now the question arises, what can we do about it? The answer is simple, yet complex. We need to be prepared and lower our carbon footprint. One easy way to do this is by adopting a plant-based diet. Livestock farming is one of the largest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions and environmental degradation. By choosing to eat less meat and more plants, we can help reduce these emissions and our impact on the climate. But it doesn't stop there. We must also strive to reduce our energy consumption, recycle more, consume less, and support renewable energy sources. We must remember, every action we take today will affect the world of tomorrow. In summary, the recent atmospheric rivers in California are a stark reminder of the realities of climate change. They are a sign of what's to come and will get even worse if we don't take immediate action. We must lower our carbon footprint, adopt a plant-based diet, and take steps to become more sustainable. The cost of inaction and delay will be tremendous. This is not just a story about atmospheric rivers in California. It is a story about our planet, our future, and our responsibility. It is our call to action. The time for change is now. Everyone needs to do their part and work for the greater good for all, because the future of our planet depends on the actions we take today. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. As Ryan Hall says, don't be scared, be prepared.